Hi, welcome to DrSecrets.com. I'm DR, and today we're going to talk about psoriasis. One of you was asking if I would do a quick blurb on psoriasis. Um, so this is basically what you should know about it if you suffer with it or know someone else that, that uh, suffers with it. <clears throat> basically, it's a skin, skin condition um, which is chronic and relapsing. Um, it can be sometimes hard to differentiate it from eczema. It looks almost like eczema on steroids. So basically you get, um, whoops, you get a lot of uh, very dry skin and it, it forms into patches. So the, the main thing that differentiates it from eczema is the formation of these plaques of skin. They almost look as though you took a kind of like a dry whitish looking, um, uh, like what you would repair clothes with and ironed it onto the piece of skin. So unlike eczema, which is which is just dry looking skin and a little bit bumpy, this thing looks dry, but it also it also has depth, so it's also raised above the rest of the skin into what we call plaques. What causes it is um, basically for some unknown reason underneath the skin, the the skin starts setting up um, inflammatory. Uh, abscesses or micro abscesses which you could consider almost like little fires underneath the skin what the skin is reacting to we don't know but uh, that inflammatory process causes the skin eventually to react and then form these scaly plaques on top of itself almost like a protective coating so it's trying to keep something out uh, we just don't know what the the main areas of predilection that I tend to see it is um, on the scalp, um, on the elbow surfaces, on the knee surfaces. I also tend to see it a lot on people's backs. And I also sometimes for some strange reason also tend to see it um, on the inside of people's ears like going into the ear canal. And again, like I said, sometimes it can be difficult to differentiate it from uh, eczema and on the scalp. Sometimes you might think it's a uh, simple um, dandruff. But if you feel around with your fingers on the scalp, you'll be able to feel the, these plaques that are raised above the rest of the skin. So that's a psoriatic plaque. Now a couple things you need to know about it. Um, sometimes it can be itchy, but not always. But I would say most people complain of it um, irritating them and being itchy. And that again is because of these little fires underneath the skin, the inflammatory process. Um, one thing you really should know about psoriasis is something called um, Cobner's phenomenon. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right uh, because I've never actually heard anybody speaking the word. I've just seen it in books. Um, the important thing about that phenomenon is that if you suffer with psoriasis, it's already itchy. If you go scratching at one of these plaques, you actually make it worse. And that's the Cobner's phenomenon. So I'm always surprised when people come in a clinic with psoriasis and they're digging at it. And it amazes me how few people have been told that their scratching and digging at it will actually make it much worse, makes it much more, much larger. And you may also spread it to surrounding areas too, because the scratching is an irritant. So you're irritating the skin and increasing the inflammatory process. Um, another thing that's useful to know is that um, sunshine, the UV and sunshine, um, tends to help uh, settle down the inf inflammatory responses. In fact, some dermatologists will put you in uh, specialized uh, tanning beds um, with short bursts of UV radiation to, to settle it down. Another thing that we also tend to use is um, uh, medicated creams that have in um, medicine called cortisone. You might also see a spell with a Z, cortisone, um, and also vitamin A analogs. And sometimes they're they're actually mixed in together. And these uh, creams are applied directly on over the patches. So really, truly, psoriasis isn't something that you're going to be able to uh, treat that simply from home or with over-the-counter um, medicines. I usually find that that approach. Um, it gives minimal benefit. Chances are you're really better off uh, just touching base with a dermatologist. Another thing to watch out for is stress. Um, if you're under stress, and stress could be anything ranging from inadequate sleep, fatigue, 
um, not getting enough nutrition, um, being worried about something, ruminating about things, um, infections, all those things, anything that your body can construe as um, a stressor will also tend to cause uh, psoriasis to flare up even worse. So if you're looking for things you could do yourself as homework to reduce the amount of, of uh, psoriasis load that you have, the two things would be one, don't, don't be scratching and picking at it, and two, uh, try to reduce the, your stress loads. A lot of the times when I see people in clinic with huge outbreaks or generalized outbreaks, it's usually during some, some uh, stressful crisis. So try to take a chill pill, relax, that helps as well. And uh, that's basically psoriasis in a nutshell. Uh, thank you for watching and stay well.